Okay, this first bit I use after the snap on, I always start my coats immediately. When I get a, a coat, I, I put them in a bit. Uh, it's just the way it works for me, and it's been working, so I'm going to keep doing it. This is an Argentine. Uh, it just be able to let your horse have some flexibility with this bridle, but it starts getting a hold of him a little quicker. And the shank, I don't know, it's maybe some a little long for some folks, but for me it works real good. When I first start, I may take the chin strap off for two or three days because that's what affects the horse more than anything when you come from a snaffle because he didn't have a chin strap on him. This bit here is a Milton Bennett. It's, uh, it's real old. I don't even know how many cowboys even got one anymore. It's how old it is. It's, it's like the original Buster. Uh, it will flake off uh, here where the new Busters won't. Uh, I think the building burnt down and they lost all their molds and everything. And But uh, this is what I really ride a lot of the colts in when I first get them and, and start them. Uh, it's just worked real good for me over the years. Got a copper mouthpiece. I use a leather curb on it. Well, I just want it where when I can do this right here, put two fingers underneath there at all times. I don't want that thing to where it's snubbed up, got him snubbed up, unless unless that horse has really been picking on me. Uh, to, but to start a horse, this bridle here is a Buster Welch. Uh, Buster Welch and uh, Mr. Stiles come up with this bridle, and that's the reason we call it a Buster. He's the one that come up with it, him and Joe Stiles. The difference in the two bits is this one's quicker, and it's got a little longer shank, and of course it's got a higher port. That's that's the big thing. It, it, the port in it pull the horse right straight down to you, but it don't it don't get him over flexing in that in that pole, but it just pulls it right to where he's, he needs to have it.